My name is Kathleen. I'm 16 years old and I'm in 10th grade. My name is Caroline. I'm 13 years old and I'm in 8th grade. Let's learn English. We'll be sharing our screen so you can see the PowerPoint we made. 我们会分享我们屏幕, In this lesson, we'll be talking about the U.S. Constitution. When we are reading, we'll first be reading at a normal speed, then at a slower speed with a simple Chinese translation. When we are reading slowly, you can read along with us. The Constitution of the United States is the supreme law of America, which means that it is the highest and most important law of the United States. It is made up of three parts, which are the preamble, the articles, and the amendments. The preamble is used to explain the purpose of the Constitution, the articles talk about how America will be governed, and the amendments are changes to the Constitution. There are seven articles in the Constitution and a total of 27 amendments. The Constitution is the oldest written national constitution that is still used today in the world. The Constitution was ratified on June 21, 1788. The Constitution of the United States is the supreme law of America, which means that it is the highest and most important law of the U.S. It is made up of three parts, which are the preamble, the articles, and the amendments. The preamble is used to explain the purpose of the Constitution. The articles talk about how America will be governed, and the amendments are changes to the Constitution. 前言是用来讲宪法的作用的。条款是讲美国会怎么被统治，然后修正案就是这宪法修改的地方。There are seven articles in the Constitution and a total of twenty-seven amendments. 宪法里有七个条款，然后一共有二十七个修正案。The Constitution is the oldest written national constitution that is still used today in the world. 宪法是最古老的写出来的，在这世界上现在还被用的国家的宪法。the Constitution was ratified on June 21, 1788。The first Constitution of the United States, which was called the Articles of Confederation, was drafted by John Dickinson and shown to the Continental Congress on July 12, 1776, and was adopted on November 15, 1777. On March 1, 1781, all 13 states ratified the Articles of Confederation. However, in the Articles of Confederation, Congress could not control tax laws and states didn't have to give money to the government. This led to a poor economy, so the government could not pay off its debts from the Revolutionary War. In 1787, the Articles of Confederation was rewritten and renamed the Constitution. It was signed in the Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This Constitution has been used until today. The first Constitution of the United States, which was called the Articles of Confederation, was drafted by John Dickinson 
and shown to the Continental Congress on July 12, 1776, and was adopted on November 15, 1777. 美国的第一个宪法，它叫 Articles of Confederation， 是 John Dickinson 起草的，然后在1776年7月12号给大陆会议展示了，然后是在1777年11月15号正式通过的。On March 1st, 1781, all 13 states ratified the Articles of Confederation. 在一七八一年三月一号，十三个州都批准了Articles of Confederation. However, in the Articles of Confederation, Congress could not control tax laws, and states didn't have to give money to the government. 可是，在Articles of Confederation里，议会不可以控制收税的法律。然后周不用必须给政府钱. This led to a poor economy, so the government could not pay off its debts from the Revolutionary War. In 1787, the Articles of Confederation was rewritten and renamed the Constitution. 在1787年, Articles of Confederation 被重写了, 然后重新起了个名字叫宪法. It was signed in the Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 它是在宾州的费城在独立大厅被签的。this constitution has been used until today. The seven articles of the constitution were signed on September 17, 1787 and were ratified on June 21, 1788. These articles are used to explain the structure of the government and ways to change the constitution. For example, the first three articles are about the legislative, executive, and judicial branches. It explains that the legislative branch is the Congress, the executive branch includes the president, and the judicial branch is the Supreme Court. These three branches work together with the legislative branch making laws the executive branch enforcing the laws, and the judicial branch interpreting the laws. The seven articles of the Constitution were signed on September 17, 1787, and were ratified on June 21, 1788. The these articles are used to explain the structure of the government and ways to change the constitution. For example, the first three articles are about the legislative, executive, and judicial branches. 比如说前三个条款是讲立法的、行政的和司法的分支. It explains that the legislative branch is the Congress, the executive branch includes the president, and the judicial branch is the Supreme Court. 他讲了立法的分支是议会，行政的分支包括总统，然后司法的分支是最高法院。
These three branches work together with the legislative branch making laws, the executive branch enforcing the laws, and the judicial branch interpreting the laws. 这三个分支一块工作。立法的分支是用来制定法律的，行政的分支是强迫执行法律的，然后。司法的分支是用来解释法律的。正常速度。Apart from the articles about the three branches in the Constitution, there are four more that are relationship between the states, amending the Constitution, supreme law, and ratification. The fourth article talks about relationships between states. And says that states can make their own laws, but they have to respect and help enforce the laws of other states. It also says that states should protect each other from invasion. The sixth article, which is the supreme law, says that when the state law is conflicted with the federal law, the federal law wins and the state law has to be changed. It also says that all federal and state officials must take an oath. And be loyal to the Constitution, but they can't be required to practice or take oaths to a religion. 慢速度 Apart from the articles about the three branches in the Constitution, there are four more that are relationships between the states, amending the Constitution, supreme law. And ratification. 宪法里除了讲三个分支的条款，还有四个就是州的关系、修正宪法、最高法律，还有批准。The fourth article talks about relationships between states, and says that states can make their own laws, but they have to respect and help enforce the laws of other states. 第四个条款讲州的关系，然后他说州可以制定他们自己的法律，可是他们得。尊重和帮助执行别的州的法律。It also says that states should protect each other from invasion. 他也说州应该互相帮助，来避免被入侵。The sixth article, which is the supreme law, says that when the state law is conflicted with the federal law. The federal law wins, and the state law has to be changed. 第六个条款就是最高法律，说当州的法律和国家的法律有冲突，国家的法律赢，然后州的法律得改。It also says that all federal and state officials. Must take an oath and be loyal to the Constitution, but they can't be required to practice or take oaths to a religion. He also says all the states and states officials must take an oath and be loyal to the Constitution. 不是必须有一个宗教或者对宗教宣誓。正常速度。An amendment is when something is being changed to the Constitution, and there have been a total of twenty-seven amendments to the Constitution. The first ten amendments are called the Bill of Rights. In order to make an amendment, the proposal must be approved by two-thirds of both the Senate and the House of Representatives. And then three fourths of states must approve of it before it can be added to the Constitution. There have been a total of 33 amendment proposals, but only 27 have been ratified. The first amendment was passed in 1791, and the last amendment that was passed was in 1992. 
Mesul. An amendment is when something is being changed to the constitution, and there have been a total of twenty-seven amendments to the constitution. 一个修正案是当宪法被改了。然后，宪法一共有二十七个修正案。The first ten amendments are called the Bill of Rights. 前十个修正案叫做权利法案。In order to make an amendment, the proposal must be approved by two thirds of both the Senate and the House of Representatives. And then three fourths of states must approve of it before it can be added to the constitution. 来做一个修正案，这个提案必须得三分之二的参议院和众议院同意，然后四分之三的州都得批准，它才能被加进宪法里。There have been a total of thirty-three amendment proposals, but only twenty-seven have been ratified. 一共有过三十三个修正案的提案，可是只有二十七个被批准了。The first amendment was passed in 1791. And the last amendment that was passed was in 1992. 通过的第一个修正案是在一七九一年，然后通过的最后一个修正案是在一九九二年。非常速度。Here are some examples of amendments that have been made to the Constitution. The First Amendment says that Congress will not respect or prohibit the practices of any religion. It also provides citizens freedom of speech, press, assembly, and protest. The Second Amendment says that American citizens have the right to bear arms in order to defend themselves. The Twelfth Amendment says that during a presidential election, if there is a tie or there is no majority between candidates. Then the House of Representatives will choose the president. In order to do this, each state gets one vote, and at least two thirds of the states have to vote. Mesudo. Here are some examples of amendments that have been made to the Constitution. This is the Constitution's one amendment. The First Amendment says that Congress will not respect or prohibit the practices of any religion, and also provides citizens freedom of speech, press, assembly, and protest. 第一个修正案说议会不会尊重或者禁止任何宗教，然后他也给公民。言论、出版、集会和抗议的自由。The Second Amendment says that American citizens have the right to bear arms in order to defend themselves. 第二个修正案说，美国的公民有拿武器的权利，为了保护他们自己。The Twelfth Amendment says that during a presidential election, if there is a tie or there is no majority between candidates, then the House of Representatives will choose the president. 第十二个修正案说，在一个总统选举时候，候选人里要是有平局或者没有多数的，那么众议院就会选总统。In order to do this, each state gets one vote, and at least two thirds of the states have to vote. 为了干这个，每个州都有一票，然后至少三分之二的州都必须得投票。Here are the important words and sentences from this week's lesson. Read along with me. 
，就是这节课的重要单词和句子，跟我一起读。Constitution， 宪法。Constitution。Constitution. Pay off. Pay off. 还清债务 Pay off. Sign. 签字 Sign. Sign. Right. 权利 Right. Right. Arm, 武器，军火。Arm. Arm. There are seven articles in the Constitution, and a total of twenty-seven amendments. 宪法有七个条款和一共二十七个修正案。There are seven articles in the Constitution and a total of twenty-seven amendments. There are seven articles in the Constitution and a total of twenty-seven amendments. It was signed in the Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 他在宾州费城的独立大厅被签署。It was signed in the Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was signed in the Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Second Amendment says that American citizens have the right to bear arms in order to defend themselves. 第二修正案说，美国公民有权利携带武器，为了保护他们自己。The Second Amendment says that American citizens have the right to bear arms in order to defend themselves. The Second Amendment says that American citizens have the right to bear arms in order to defend themselves. That's the end of our lesson. We hope you liked it, and we'll be having more. Bye. Bye.